uh, Lawrence here from Manga Map. Um, I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, you know, managing the uh, the new social distancing measures. You know, not going too mad. Um, and for those of you, uh, you know, transitioning to home working for the first time, hope you're all sort of finding it okay. Um, I, I really wanted to make this uh, quick video today um, just to show you, uh, to give you some really useful tips on some of the tools that we use at Mango Map uh, to help us with remote working. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but we are a remote company, so we're, we're pretty used to this. Um, and we've tested out quite a lot of tools and methodologies over the past couple of years. Um, so I just wanted to share with you what we use today. Uh, we're not affiliated with these with these uh, tools. Uh, we're not, you know, I'm not receiving a, a commission or anything. This is just what we use and what we found most useful. Uh, and so hopefully you'll find some value in that, especially if you're transitioning uh, right now to home working uh, for the first time. Uh, so the first tool I wanted to talk about is Loom, uh, which is the tool that I'm using to uh, record this video on essentially. Uh, now, Loom is a screen recording and video recording software. Uh, we use it a lot for our, in our support channels. Uh, so instead of writing, you know, a long 30 minute email, uh, you can just jump on, load up Zo uh, Loom um, and record yourself doing a workflow or you know, using a tool to, to show someone how to do something. Um, so, for example, so if we get a ticket coming in saying, oh, hey, how do I use the Mango uh, query tool? Uh, we can just come in show them a quick workflow, just say, hey, just come down to the query tool here. This is the franchise map, we work with quite a lot of franchises, so we've got this example on our website. Uh, and we can say, look, if you wanted to find out, for example, the, uh, all the available territories on this map, uh, where the percentage households earning more than 2K a week is, say, 50%, you just come in here and you say 0.5 to 1, and then you just hit get results, uh, wait for that to load, there we go. So we say so it's just a really simple way of showing someone a workflow. Now, where that really comes in useful for remote working is internal communications as well. And we use that, you know, we use that a lot for internal comms as well. So if someone needs to be shown something or we want to highlight a feature or, you know, just show someone some development work or some, or some, uh, some marketing that we've done or to educate someone about something, uh, we record a, a Loom video and then we can share it on Slack, which is our centralized uh, communication platform and also tool number two which, which is what I wanted to show you for remote working. Now Slack many of you probably know this already uh, but it's you know it's a centralized communication platform uh, you can do group calls on it you can do messaging uh, you can have different channels for different teams so you can see here we've got marketing we've got product teams uh, we've got SDR teams we've got um, a uh, feedback channel, uh, so when feedback comes in, it's looped into here. So we can all, you know, all of the company communications all sort of live here. So this is where where we come when we want to find stuff out. Um, and as 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 you can see as well, Erin uh, has posted a loop video on here just to show someone a, a test workflow with Zapier that we're currently working on. So it's it's just so everyone can see it, it's visualised. There's no there's no emails going back and forth. Uh, that just gets you know that just gets old if you're working at home you know you, your inbox is just constantly churning constantly writing emails it's really hard to be productive um, or as a nice video it's, it's it's just a lot better um, one thing I wanted to show you with slack um, that you can implement today really easily and will definitely have a noticeable impact on on your uh, your workflows is a daily standup now many of you may do this already uh, but it's part of an agile workflow uh, so if you're in software, you're definitely aware of this. Um, the way we use it um, in uh, in Mango is we do a basically we do a daily stand up. We write on here. We say this is what I did yesterday. Uh, this is what I'm planning to do today, and these are the blockages that I have in order, you know, that, that are stopping me from meeting my goals. Um, it's a really good way for managers to keep track of um, staff without micromanaging. The micromanaging obviously just doesn't work anyway, and it really doesn't work when you're when you've got a remote team. Uh, so it's just a really simple way for a project manager to come in, see what everyone's working on, make sure people are on track, uh, see if there's any blockages. Because normally, if there's a blockage, it's the project manager's job to stop that blockage. Um, it makes it makes the team sort of converse with each other. Um, everyone knows what everyone else is doing, and it and it also reinforces for the person coming. It says that oh, this is what I need to do today. This is my priority, um, and this is where I'm headed. Um, so, as you can see here, this is uh, Erin, he's a customer success manager who was just basically saying on Friday I did this, today I'm doing that, and here are my blockages. Now, 
the way that we manage, uh, so that, like I said, you can you can implement this system really easily, you know, today, uh, and just use it on any communication platform you want. It doesn't have to be Slack. Um, but what we do, uh, and this is a nice segue into the third tool that I wanted to show you. Um, we also give links to uh, our Jira board within that daily standup, just to show just to show you this is the work that we're working on. And on Jira, we put the more detailed sort of breakdown of what we're going to be doing. It, um, Jira is a um, it's it, well, it's a project management tool, it's primarily for software builds. So it's, it's so you can keep it's for managing very complex, large scale projects and breaking down very large, complex pieces of work down into small, smaller, um, smaller stories and, and, and tasks. So uh, the, how we use it, we use it for marketing, we use it for content, we use it for software, we use it for everything. Um, so we come up with a larger piece of work called an epic. So that could be a marketing campaign. And then a smaller sort of sub segment of that would be the digital component of that of that of that marketing campaign or you know the the design element and that would be a story and then that would contain a series of subtasks underneath that um, and that's just what you're doing day to day so like I said the epic could be a new marketing campaign for franchise brands uh, story could be create all of the digital assets needed and then a subtask could be write the landing page get the graphics together um, just show you an example. Uh, this is an actual Kanban board. Um, it's, it's separated into swim lanes and different sections. We've created this ourselves just to manage content. You can do it however you like. Um, but we've got check-in, accepted, in progress, integration, and sign-off, and then staging. We put it on staging before we put it live. Um, so if I'm a project manager, I can just come in and just I know exactly what everyone's doing. I know where they are. Um, and for example, here, this we've got a franchise explainer video. Um, I brief this in um, and then the content creator will go away, read it and create it and just put it in, in wherever they are in their workflow. They're, this is currently within, let me check, it's currently within uh, integration. So we're current, so we're nearing the end of that now. So I brief this in, we've got like the, the assets that you need, we've got the key points included, uh, the links to the similar content. And then here we have the subtasks break, broken down. So producing the video, finding a voiceover artist. So, you know, if I'm if I'm doing my, my remote workflow, I manage all of my, my, my work in here. I put it all down and then on my daily standup, I just come in and I say, this is what, this is, these are the small tasks that I'm doing today. Uh, this is where I plan to be by the end of the day and this is anything that I'm blocked on. Uh, so, as you can see, these three tools work together quite nicely to come up with a way for you to manage your workflows for, you know, planning, planning what you're going to be doing, uh, keeping track of all of your team members, staying communicative and in touch with each other, um, Loom videos to 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 help uh, like educate other people or to keep in touch just so they can hear your voice and see what you're doing, um, Jira to to track everything, uh, and then that centralized communications platform. You know these tools aren't you know they're not niche tools. They're you know they're used by a lot. There's different versions of them as well. You can use Jira, you can use Trello. Um, it's probably not groundbreaking for some people, but this but this video is really intended just as sort of like a high level overview, just to give some tips to people who are just starting those remote workflows and maybe struggling and thinking, oh, how, how are we going to do this? Um, this is what we've learned work for us. Um, hopefully you can find some value in that. Um, Loom are currently offering uh, like a COVID-19 special, you know, they, they, they're really helping. They, it's free for, for education professionals. Uh, They've got unlimited videos on their free plan now. They've reduced the pro price. You know, these things are, are readily available now, and you can you can jump straight into them. Specifically, you know, particularly the daily stand up and, and just download Trello and just start getting you know, experimenting with Kanban. So, so yeah. So I hope that was useful. Uh, we'll be coming up with some more of these videos over, over the coming weeks, um, just to help, just to offer some help and, and keep the conversation going, keep people sane, hopefully. Um, if there's anything you want from us, from me, from our team, if you want a Loom video on anything, we can do that for you and do some greater depth. Uh, we can we can demonstrate some workflows. We're here to, to 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 chat. You know, drop us some notes in the comments. We'll get back to you. Uh, I think it's really important at this time to you know to keep communication communication channels open um, for people to to really sort of like spread some value if they've got some expertise in a certain area and it can help people. Um, with their remote working and transitioning, you know, it would be great to hear about that. So I'll, I'll speak to you soon and uh, I hope that was useful. Thank you.